girl today we are here to review this pomegranate and honey moisturizing and detangling shampoo from Mayel. I was looking for a shampoo that will leave my hair hydrated, a shampoo that's sulfate free and when I saw this one and a couple of reviews on Facebook and what they claim it would do for your hair girl silky slip you know for thick curly hair you know and the fact that they say it won't strip your natural moisture <laughs> I jumped onto it. I'm like, why not? The ingredients are interesting because it has the uh, C14, C16 uh, olefin and also the betaine, um, which are actually sulfate free cleansers. However, they're pretty effective cleansers, and the fact that they're in the top two of the ingredient lists, I don't know, it might be maybe actually in the category of a clarifying shampoo but we'll see anyway it cost me about $28 this is Australian dollars um, I'm not sure how much it is in US dollars but I'm in Australia guys so that's what I'm working with now ingredient wise of course it has the pomegranate and the honey which are great ingredients I particularly love the honey for obvious reasons that would be a humectant so super moisturizing it's got the babasu um, oil and I noticed that it actually has two proteins it's got wheat protein and silk protein and I can see that fragrance is a little bit high higher than I'm used to uh, on the ingredient list so yeah this product is likely to smell either really really good if it's a good fragrance or really really bad if it's a bad one okay so let's have a look at what it feels like what it looks like and also how it dispenses all right so I didn't like how it dispenses I actually cut my finger <laughs> trying to open this little dispenser thingy the pump actually that's what it is um, so I don't know, I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I found it a little bit difficult to get it to start pumping the uh, shampoo out. However, once I figured it out, it was pretty easy to pump the shampoo out of the bottle. The consistency of the shampoo is on the creamy side. It's on the thick side and it actually smells really good. Guys, let's talk about some pros here. It smells beautiful. This product... Mm -mm -mm. yeah tick 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 another pro is just obviously the packaging is quite pretty nice and pink bright you know if you've used a few Mayel products you know they do have a theme particularly for the pomegranate and honey range anyway I went ahead to rinse my hair in this particular video my hair was dirty like pretty bad so yeah eight weeks of no shampooing my hair it was due a wash <laughs> i went ahead to rinse my hair really really thoroughly just to make sure i got as much dirt and product out of the hair um, before i applied the shampoo because i was trying to only lather like to apply the shampoo only once i didn't want to double shampoo because you know i don't want to dry my hair out but hopefully it is actually as moisturizing and as great <laughs> as it's been marketed to be as mentioned previously the shampoo is actually quite creamy which I like um, it's hard to pump with one hand maybe because of the size or the length of the bottle I don't know but I found it a little bit tricky but another pro that this shampoo actually has guys is that it actually lathers quite well so a little bit goes a long way no joke like that was like yeah just a couple of pumps but you can just see the lather on my hair is ridiculous so just to summarize the pros are that the packaging looks great okay it's creamy it has a nice creamy feel it lathers quite well um, a little goes a long way and it smells beautiful um, so I really appreciate that now for the cons and 
the cons are quite major to me and I think it's mainly because of how they've marketed or advertised or branded actually the product. This product is supposed to be moisturizing and it's supposed to help you detangle your hair. Nah, negative. I didn't even need to unravel my twists to try to detangle before I knew that I could not detangle my hair with this shampoo. I could feel, what can I say? The drying effect. <laughs> before I even rinsed the product out. I guess the lather was supposed to give it away, but this shampoo, guys, is not moisturizing. This shampoo should be a clarifying shampoo. If they advertise it as a clarifying shampoo, I'll be happy, because it does. It's got clarifying vibes, okay? When I rinsed my hair, and for the most part, I just allowed the shampoo to run down the shaft of my hair I was sort of concentrating on the scalp but still my hair was feeling squeaky clean <laughs> it stripped the natural oils out of my hair and it was not supposed to do that according to the branding the advertising and the information on um, on this product so I am disappointed that this product is actually not moisturizing and it's not gonna help detangle my hair it was not feeling silky on the hair you know when you have a, a, a shampoo that kind of provides that slip and that silkiness to your hair I didn't get that with this with this shampoo which is really disappointing and it costs so much money that's another con it costs so much money so I am expecting to get what I paid for um yeah negative um no this yes this is for girls that love to clarify and i mean i do clarify every now and then but no i don't like to clarify and i don't like how my hair feels after a clarifying shampoo of which this one to me yeah clarifying my hair was feeling brittle and dry um squeaky clean after using this shampoo which i was disappointed in for those that don't know, I'm actually on an extreme moisture journey this year where I'm trying to really moisturize and hydrate my hair as much as possible. And having a shampoo like this that's supposed to be moisturizing but then does the opposite is really a setback for me. Because no amount of deep conditioning or moisturizing I have found can give me the feel and the hydration that my own natural oils sebum gives me so i do not like it when shampoos strip my hair um, i did try to go in with a deep conditioner but yeah once i rinsed the hair out it was back again quite brittle and quite dry so to summarize again the cons of the shampoo drying brittle left my hair brittle did not detangle the hair I, well i didn't try but i didn't have to okay you can scratch the detangling bit if you if you want to but for me i'm not even gonna attempt you know um the pump was a little bit fiddly it cut me <sighs> and the price point not attractive at all is this shampoo um moisturizing and gonna help detangle no Clarifying, yes. Will I be repurchasing this product? Absolutely not. Comment below, let me know if you've used it, if you liked it, if you did not. Subscribe and I will see you in the next video.